Let's say you've got too many photos piling up on your phone again, and you've just come up with a really great idea for a new photo slideshow. Wait, before you open up Movavi, if you wanna be able to easily reuse your slideshow over and over, do this first. Go to your desktop or wherever you store your assets and create a new folder. Let's name it Active Clips. Add all the photos and video clips that you plan to use in your new project. Once you've added these, arrange everything within this folder by renaming these files in numerical order, with number one being the first clip in the slideshow, two being the second, and so on. Once complete, open a new Movavi project, import your folder, and now create your slideshow. After you export the video, be sure that you save a copy of the project file. A lot of time and energy goes into creating these beautiful slideshow displays, so be sure to hang on to them. Now, here's where it gets good. Let's say that you show off your new slideshow to a friend, and your friend really likes it and wants you to create one for him or her. Easy. Here's how to replace all the photos and videos in your project in seconds. Before opening up Movavi, first, create another new folder on your desktop or wherever you like to store files. Then give it a name. For this example, I'll go with old clips. Now open up your original active clips folder, highlight all the original clips and move them out of this folder and into the new folder labeled old clips. From here, take all of your friends' photos and videos and drop them into your active clips folder. Now this part is very important. Within this folder, you'll need to arrange these files by renaming them exactly the same as you did before. So, since we named these files in numerical order before, then we'll want to rename these files in numerical order again. Once finished, open up your slideshow project in Movavi and crop all clips to reframe them so that you don't end up with any unwanted black bars. Next, go through any of the new video clips and adjust as desired. The new photos and videos that you used to replace the old with, they need to be like for like. For example, if the first clip in your slideshow sequence is a JPEG file, then the new replacement for that clip needs to be a JPEG image file as well. As another example, if the second clip in your slideshow is an MP4 file, then that clip can only be replaced with another MP4 video file. If you have any issues with this, be sure to check out Movavi's video converter. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. If you wanna learn how to create an amazing slideshow, click this video here. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can.